Okay, we're going to work on teaching Ed how to go to bed, but me not being right next to it, me slowly adding in steps I am away from the bed incrementally, um, and that he can still go and lay down. So first, um, you'll see, come here, bud. Good. Uh, that I've got little pieces of tape down here on the ground, and that's going to help me to keep myself on track so that I know exactly how far I am um, asking him to go to the bed in relation to how far away I am from the bed. Okay, so we're gonna start out, uh, I'm gonna get, go ahead and get him off um, and I'm gonna use his touch cue, touch, good boy, to get him back off because he likes laying on his bed. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna use the cue that I used to tell him to go and lay down on his bed, but I'm gonna start out with that being a step away from it. Bed. <clears throat> yes, good boy. Good. Okay. Good. Bed. Okay, so now he's gotten five right there and he wasn't hesitating at all. So I'm going to increase how far away I am from him. Just this bit. Let's see how he does with this picture change. Okay. Come on. Good boy. Bed? Yes, good boy. You had to think a little there, huh, bud? Okay. Come here. Good boy. Bed? All right, another five correct. Now I'm going to move to being right here. Okay. Okay. Good. Bed. Notice I'm just waiting him out. He's thinking. This is totally normal. Yes, good boy. Good. I'm going to give him extra for that because that was hard. Good. Okay. thinking again this is something that's common where they kind of want to get closer to you as you get further away I'm just gonna wait them out this is gonna feel like forever good boy I'm gonna give that to him even though he's not all the way on the bed that was so hard. Okay. I'll do one more at that distance. And if he's still having um, this hard of a time, I'm going to go back to the two step increments away. Bed. Yes. Again, I'll give it to him even though he's not all the way on. Okay. Yes, good boy. Okay. okay. Itty. Good, good boy. All right, so I'm going to go back to the two-step increments now because I can tell he's getting a little frustrated. And although he is eventually making it, um, he's still having a hard time. Hey, Ed.
Okay, so as you can see, even though it was this much distance change, he's nailing it here, he was starting to get confused here. So what I would do next is I would go back to this mark here and see if he could do it after he had we dropped back down to that two-step increment. If he couldn't, then I'm gonna go somewhere in between here, what is called a split. So I'll do a little split to help make that picture a little bit easier before I go back to that third line again. Good job.